Alright, what's going on, Bully Pop Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akelanga Flora 2. So yeah, for today we're actually gonna be checking out the buffed Bull Pop, and I'm actually gonna talk about it when I actually get it in game. Oh, po. Yep, golden stuff. So yeah, just gonna be chilling today on some good old fashioned Hellmark Station, and let's see what we can uh, possibly do. But yeah, in Hellmark Station, it is one of those maps you either like it or. Well, yeah, you just hate it. And in my case, yeah, I kind of like it. It is uh, definitely not bad. Yeah, first I need to like, get used to playing Killing Floor again, because... Well, yeah, rest in pieces. Opa! Oh, I can't hit for shit! Okay, let's just regroup a little bit, throw down an aid. Ya boy, I'm up. What the hell are you? We do have... Oh, I do have one single fire. Oh my god. Yep. Need to play more. But I mean, the updates are... Yeah, not really screaming, play me more, if that makes any sense, boy. Dude, I'm just like waiting for like an update for Killing Floor 2 that's gonna have me hooked for more than a week. Again? Oh, easy. Oh, even easier. Yeah, boy. I mean, to be fair, like I said multiple times, Killing Floor 2, not, you know, that type of game that you just forget your muscle memory. Oh my god, he just like... me shielded him. Oh, and here they come again. I didn't actually say boy that time. How did you puke me there? Dude, there's just like something about bashing in this game. It just feels so freaking right. I'm just like hoping they're not going to mess up in Killing Floor 3, man. But something tells me they are going to. Dude, honestly, for Killing Floor 3, I'm just like hoping they're not going to rush it out. But guess we shall see. So yeah, Bullpup, what has actually changed? And is this weapon going to be worth using or not? So yeah, the weapon weight has been reduced from 6 to 5 and bullet damage increased from 30 to 32. So yeah, the damage, it's not going to be like that significant as you're going to be seeing here, but the weight... Yeah, it's pretty much made for the minigun. Oh yeah, boy. You've actually got the stalker kill. Okay, got the usk, and there's like a bunch of idars that no one appreciates. Oh my god, I mean the damage. Currently, I don't see it yet. But I do have to upgrade this thing to get the full effect. Oh, get destroyed, I guess. Oh, he didn't even shoot. Yeah, I think he's like a little bit confused there. Boy, what? Okay, apparently just don't even bash, I guess. I mean, it's just a tier 2 weapon. I don't know why people were just expecting something godly from this thing. But at the end of the day, it's either pick this or pick the Tommy gun. And I still might just pick the Tommy gun, because I feel like this weapon is just like a little bit too wonky for me. Don't know why. Oh, get bash and destroyed. Fidget spenders, please. Oh. Random ass spooder from behind. Oh, Jesus. I, I just can't bash. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just need a bit more practice on this game again. Dude, just look how many times I actually, well, yeah, finished a match in this update. Three times. Okay, maybe five times because I actually played two times with the gravity imploder. So I only just played around 7 matches in this update. Yep, the updates are just not cutting it anymore. Well then, auto fill, upgrade this thing 2 times, and now it should be kind of close to maybe the scar damage. Well then, let's go back down to my standard position and camp it up. So yeah, currently the damage is significantly better, but keep in mind, it is upgraded 2 times. Oh, yeah, thanks, flash 1 for just ramming my freaking ass. I mean, I killed the Flashbound, but I did have, like, all of the advantages the Commando can have. A full freaking mag and slow motion. So yeah, thank god for that. It's not that bad. You do just have to upgrade, though. Oh my god. Yeah, boy. So yeah, the only time I would actually use this weapon is, like, a backup for the minigun. But other than that... Yeah, probably not. I would much rather pick the Tommy gun. And the only time I do pick the Tommy gun is when I play long, which is rarely nowadays. Oh my god, Spoiler, just like, stop jumping around, fam. No one likes you. I mean, for medium, Zed's it's pretty good. Yeah, boy. And boy. Nope, never mind. That was not a boy. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think about this weapon now. Because like I said, for me, it's still meh. 
and I'm most likely not going to be using it much, if at all, still. But for those of you who actually like the minigun, yeah, I think you're gonna enjoy this buff. Okay, fully upgraded freaking bullpup, let's see what this thing is gonna be doing. So yeah, this wave is going to be a lot of scrakes, a lot of flash bones, so let's see if it can handle its own. I mean, to be fair, on multiplayer, it is going to be quite easy to play with this weapon because... Okay, just like here and behind me somewhere. Oh, it's a big ass flash. Oh, what are you here, fam? Well, I think I can actually kill him before he comes to me, so that's always nice. Oh, but how did you. Okay, he was just like two shots away from from getting demolished. Good to know. Okay, can you just go away? Oh, and there's another flash. Oh, what's this? I'm just gonna like nade him. Don't really care. Oh, and of course, there's going to be a fidget spinner or a gore fast. Well, yeah, right behind. No, oh, easy. Yeah, this thing fully upgraded, it's actually manageable. To be honest. But if I had, like, an M16, yep, things would have died a whole lot far and faster. Oh, do I hear a spoiler? Of course I hear a spoiler. Why wouldn't I hear a spoiler? That's, like, the standard nowadays. Oh, slow motion, please. Or, or don't. No, oh, poor. Okay, just go away. I mean, for core bones, this thing's actually powerful. But do keep in mind, I did have to, like, upgrade it to tier 5. No, oh, and here they come again. Of course. No, oh, and they just got, like, a whole lot more aggressive because of the Ryu tier. But no worries. Because I got my shit upgraded to full. Oh, of course, man. Furry Knidors. Spooders plus. For some reason, I just can't, like, aim. I don't know what it is. Yeah, boy. So yeah, this thing tier 5. Yeah, actually good. I'm just gonna say that. But I don't really feel like this thing is, like, worth fully upgraded more than the M16. Not upgraded at all. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. Basically what this weapon is by default is just, you know, a trash clearer. But it only has 30 rounds in the magazine. But yeah, as you can see here, fully upgrading this thing is going to keep it at 8 kilograms. Whereas the M16, yeah, it's only 6. And the Tommy gun is 6. But I mean, to be fair, you can still pair it with the HM Tech 401. Well then, boss time, which dude? Oh my god, Patriarch fam. Oh well, this is gonna be pretty, pretty easy here. Dude, I can just like kite him around this freaking corner here. Wait, where did he spawn? Oh, well, here he is. I mean, I didn't like expect this thing to do like that much damage to bosses. I mean, it's still doing like some damage. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, he's going. Can I actually kill him, though? I mean, maybe. May freaking be. Oh, no, he's going behind cornfields now. Oh, he didn't. Oh, rest in peace, Patriarch. Yep, and that's exactly how easy it is to kill him. Yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments, because currently, it is better. A whole lot better. But I mean, I do like every single weapon that is upgraded to tier 5. But I still just might use the Tommy gun. Wait, did it go to 4? Oh, it actually went to 4. Anyway, do let me know what you guys think about the new and improved uh, bullpup. Are you guys gonna use it? Are you guys... Well, yeah, not gonna use it as we all did previously. And with that being said, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.